Virginia. Hey, Brian. Hey, Dan. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. All right. I have a question um, <clears throat> about tithing. Um, yes, sir. You know, as you know, I'm self-employed, and uh, when I was an employee, tithing was easy. I just, you know, got my paycheck. I knew what my gross income was. I paid 10 percent. As a business owner, you know, I've been struggling. Do I, you know, I, I'm my business is organized as an S corp, and so it goes against my personal taxes. But mm-hmm. my struggle is, do I tithe on my gross receipts or do I tithe on my profit? Like, you know, when I look at my profit statement at, at the end of each month, then do I tithe on that? <laughs> And because yeah. I've been kind of like going back and forth on this, like I feel like I should do on the gross, but then sometimes I'm like, well, you know, my gross is a lot bigger than my profit because I got to pay my employees and my subcontractors and all that stuff. So give me a little guidance on this. Well, I, you know, it's everybody's going to have a different opinion about this, but here's my opinion. My opinion is that you you tithe on your gross because that is what you're able to draw. That is what. Uh, the Lord's bless you with coming out of that, you know, that you're able to draw on that business. And I know this this may sound uh, uh, a little silly maybe to some, I don't know. But in my opinion, and from consulting with mid-size, large-size, even small businesses over the years and just um, talking with them, to me, you have two two uh, forms of tithe. Your, your, your tithe. The business is tithing and you personally are tithing. And I think um, if you have a business that is built on Christian principles and you want to give back to the Lord as you should and as an act of worship, I think you tithe 10 percent on your profits of the business over and above your gross. I think that is what your business, that is what your business is tithing. You're tithing personally as an individual based on my salary or my income or whatever, whatever income I am able to take out of the business. But I'm, I'm going to. For the sake of uh, giving back to the Lord, I am going to separate and I'm going to look at what profits the business is making. And if the business is making over and above after I've drawn out and there's still profits that I'm able to retain, I'm able to keep into the business, I'm able to grow my, my, my cash flow so that someday I can expand, then I believe if you tithe on that business income, I'm not, I am not, you know me better than this, Brian. I'm not suggesting this is why you tie by any stretch of the imagination. And I say that to you because I don't want to get the emails. But I, I am not suggesting that you tithe because of what the master is serving at the table, you know, uh, but because it's an act of worship. Uh, that you are grateful for what is happening. And I guarantee you, not tithing for the blessing, but I guarantee you, your business is forever going to be blessed and multiply. I mean, we can we can go back and look at the uh, uh, extreme examples like, you know, the Walmarts of the world and some other uh, Christian-based companies, Hobby Lobbies and Chick-fil-A's and those kinds of companies. That is extreme from a size standpoint, but it wasn't extreme when they started. It was an extreme when Chick-fil-A was one man flipping some chicken on a grill uh, in a little in a little shop. So it you know it was an extreme when J.C. Penney was selling uh, hats, gloves, and shirts from a little stand on the corner of the street before the depression. So you know these were these were men. Uh, J.C. Penney obviously come a long way from that uh, in a negative way. But nevertheless, um, it built great, great companies. And um, you, you're certainly not tithing because of that. But I believe it's two different things, and I believe we ought to tithe on both. That may not be the answer uh, you wanted to hear, or and it, and it may not even be. there. There's probably biblical arguments for, for either one, but that's my opinion. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks Brian. That's what I wanted to know your opinion. All right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. And uh, I know I know it'll be a blessing to you. I, I really do. I, I just I know it will be. I've seen it over and over and over again. And uh, that's what's so uh, I'm so grateful for so many things in the in the business world, in my life and in my life's experiences 
that there if it's not an own, if it's not my own personal experience it's because i've sat across board tables and kitchen tables from individuals and uh, from extremely wealthy people and large businesses to everything in between and uh, have seen these experiences and have seen them work over and over again not to mention uh, the incredible uh, experiences that God has blessed me with, uh, my failures, my poor decisions, and uh, the incredible uh, blessings as well. And uh, so uh, I appreciate that. But it's all about worshiping God. And I don't think, well, one of the greatest ways we can worship the Lord and Savior is through our giving and our tithing. And I, I don't want to see any company, a Christian-based company, or any individual miss out on that incredible opportunity to worship uh, in that powerful way. 888-344-1170.